Welcome to Laugh King's NFL Picks and Best Bets Week 5. So, we'll start off by recapping, as always, Week 4 and where we're at overall for the season. So, the person who had the best record last week is none other than Jace. 9-6-1. Very nice record for you last week. It brings your grand total to 34 27 and 3. Your best bet, you got up to the 500 mark too. You got you had 2 and 2 total for the year so far. Good. Good week for Jace there. <clears throat> Next, we'll go to JR, who had an okay week. It was 6, 9 and 1. And his total though is very nice. It's 33, 28 and 3. Um <clears throat> Best bets, a little lacking, you know. One and three is his uh, best bets. You know what that's like? What? That's like when uh -oh. you start a relationship. Mr. Jordan, Mr. JR. Mm -hmm. Everything's great in the honeymoon phase the first couple weeks, right? Then it sizzles down after. <laughs> that's, how oh, do. that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that I don't know. I don't know what it means for me then, because I started <laughs> last week. I'm, I'm six nine and one, so I had the same record as Jr. But my total is twenty two thirty nine and three. Oh man! So maybe the it's gonna get hot and heavy and steamy and come towards the end. My best bets, four and zero. Oh. Lock. I'm a lock with my best bets. Yep. I don't know how to compare that to, to real life situation. You just, <laughs> I guess the best bets is a, is a it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> so that means in total, I am I am winning overall right now. Uh, Thirty three. What did it, you? Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize you. Yeah, you, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Jr. Drop back. Yeah, I know. Oof. Ooh. All right. Well. Guess what? We have a lot more weeks to go. So, mm -hmm. might just be looking at a come from behind winner. You never know. <laughs> yep. Watch your behind. <laughs> He's coming for you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no baby oil. No baby oil. Just... <laughs> All right. Let's get into the picks this week. We'll start with the Thursday game. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Atlanta Falcons with the Falcons minus one and a half. I'm going to stick the Atlanta Falcons at home and take the minus one and a half. Yeah, I like the Bucks. I've been taking them. I've been watching them all season. Starting to get one of my favorite teams, but uh, I'm taking Atlanta on this one. All right. And I actually got the, the Buccaneers at uh, plus one and a half. Mm, all right. We have... Uh, Sunday games, but we have one that starts 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's played in London. So the New York Jets are the away team. The Minnesota Vikings are the home team, but they won't have the home field advantage as it's a neutral site. So the Vikings are favored by minus two and a half. I really like what the Vikings are putting out there. I know the Jets last game you know, it was bad weather, so we can't really judge it too harshly on that. But I still go with the Vikings at minus two and a half. Yeah, I'm with the Vikings take the spread because they're still undefeated and I'm going to roll with them still. Hmm. Vikings do seem like a safe bet. However, I got to go with old man Rogers and the Jets. I think they're going to come through in the international series. So I got the Jets at plus two and a half. All right, <clears throat> moving on to the Miami Dolphins at the New England Patriots. Wow, the Dolphins really look bad with all these injuries. And uh, the Patriots are never favored, but the Patriots are at home and favored by minus one. Interesting. I'm actually going to go with the Patriots at home, minus one. The Dolphins look that bad. <laughs> I know they look that bad. I'm thinking it can't get worse. That's why I'm going to take Miami to actually cover the spread. Because they're still making adjustments. They're still trying to figure out the quarterback situation. I'm thinking they got this one. 
All right. I actually got the Dolphins as well uh, at uh, plus one and a half. And I don't know if you guys seen the end of uh, the game between the Titans, but Tyreek Hill, he was fired up on the sidelines. He was yelling at everyone. I think that's going to light a fire under everyone to kind of turn things around. We still don't have a timetable as to when Tua is returning. So who knows? This could go on for however many weeks. So I think they're going to they're going to try and turn it around. They're going to come out on top. So I got the Dolphins at one and a half. Sorry, plus, uh, plus, plus one. one. Yeah, you got it. All right. So we'll head over to the Carolina Panthers at the Chicago Bears. Um, Bears are home, minus four. I'm going to take the home team again, minus four. Uh, give, me, give me the Bears. I got the Panthers on this one. Took them last week. They came through. Cover the spread. I'm going to take them again. All right, and I actually got the Panthers as well, as well at uh, plus four. All right, <laughs> got the Colts going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville's at home minus three. Got the coach blaming the players. <laughs> Odd situation in Jacksonville. Uh give me the Colts. You can't be blaming your players and think they're gonna come out and. Give that spark. I don't. I don't see it working. So let's go to. I'm going with the Colts plus three. I'm gonna take an upset on this one. I know Jacksonville has yet to win a game. They have. They have to. They got to get at least close with the Colts. So I'm taking Jacksonville. Not really an upset. They're favored. <laughs> they are okay. Yeah, they're minus three. Yeah, and they're, yeah, and they're undefeated. And they're. Yeah. That's uh, weird. Yeah, they didn't have won a game. They haven't won a game. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, interesting indeed, but I'm going to go with the Colts at uh, plus three. An interesting game here as well. We got the Buffalo Bills, who look terrible uh, against Baltimore at Houston Texans. But the Buffalo Bills on the road are still favored by minus one. You know what? I may not... I think the Bills are beating up on bad teams and having trouble with the good teams. So I'm going to go with Texans plus one at home. I got the Bills on this one. I think they'll bounce back. Mm, I got the Bills as well. Diggs versus his former team. Should be, a, should be a good game. However, I got the Bills coming out on top. All right. Move on to the Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. The Ravens on the road are favored minus two and a half. I'm going to go with the Ravens on the road to cover the minus two and a half. I got the Bengals on this one. Hmm. All right. I actually got the Ravens uh, minus two and a half as well. All right. Moving on to the Cleveland Browns at the Washington Commanders. Wow, I don't get this spread. Commanders are at home, and it's only minus three against Cleveland. All right. Give me to watch the Commanders all day long at minus three. Yeah, I'm taking got Washington on this one. Yeah, so I got the Commanders as well. All right. I think we'll be, be revisiting that game in the next segment. I have a feeling. Uh, we got the Las Vegas Raiders at the Denver Broncos. And Broncos are favored minus three. I don't know. These two teams are just... Don't know what you're going to get. But... Yeah, I guess I'll go Broncos minus three. I, I don't have any feel on the game at all. <laughs> yeah, I got Broncos too. I think they'll, they'll cover the spread. Same here. Broncos minus three. Okay. All right. We got the Arizona Cardinals at the San Francisco 49ers with San Fran uh, favored minus seven and a half. Still have a lot of injuries. Guys going down again. Um, you know what? I'll take. I keep giving these guys chances and they keep letting me down. I'll take the Cardinals to cover uh, plus seven and a half. That's where he lost their Uncle Sammy and taking 49ers. <laughs> I got to go for 49ers as well. I think last week they were, what, minus nine? Something similar. Favorites. Yeah. 
this week, seven and a half. I mean, I got to go to 49ers there. They can score. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The New York Giants at the Seattle Seahawks. The C- Seahawks are favored minus six. And I am go. And I think neighbors might be hurt. The rookie uh, wide receiver, if I'm not mistaken. So without neighbors, I think uh, Dan- Daniel Jones sucks. Like, I think Seahawks should cover minus six. I'm going to take a chance on the Giants on this one to cover the spread. Ooh, what a risk. But I got to go with the Seahawks there, minus six. All right. <laughs> got the Green Bay Packers um, on the road against the Los Angeles Rams. And the Packers are favored on the road, minus three and a half. It's crazy in Green Bay. Doesn't make sense. Jordan Love is 0 and 2. While Malik Willis is two at all, <laughs> so it's weird. But I think Green Bay pulls it off. So I think they covered minus. They covered minus three and a half on the road. Yeah, I agree with you, Uncle Sam. You're taking Green Bay. Yeah, I got uh, the Packers as well at minus three and a half. All right. Now we go to the Sunday night game where the Dallas Cowgirls, sorry, Cowboys, <laughs> take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers at home, minus two and a half. Uh, I don't know what to think of the Steelers. Their defense should be, I think their defense alone should be able to beat Dallas. So I'll just go with uh, the Steelers to cover minus two and a half. I'm taking a chance. I don't know. So I'm confident. I got I got the Steelers as well. Hmm. All right. Well, I actually got the Cowboys at uh, plus two and a half. Right. Hopefully, them girls come through for you. <laughs> Everyone hates on the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got two less games, so we will head to the Monday Nighter. So it's only 14 games on the slate this week. <clears throat> we got the Monday game where the New Orleans Saints take on the Kansas City Chiefs with the Chiefs minus. Five. Interesting. I'm actually gonna go with the New Orleans Saints to cover uh, plus five in Kansas City. In Kansas City, I'm taking Kansas City, so I'm going with the Chiefs on this one. Mm, all right, now I'm also gonna go with the Chiefs as well. It's hard to go against the Chiefs, especially at home. Sammy, you're taking a huge risk. I don't know what got in you, but <laughs> I got the Chiefs. At minus five. You know what it is? It's they their weapons are all down. Like Kelsey's still there, but Rice is out. Like it's just who is Mahomes gonna he can't throw to himself. Mm. So that's where I ended up. All right, so we've got all our 14 games uh predicted. So now let's go to our best bets. So the one game that surprised me, I'm gonna go right back to that for my best bet. I think the Washington Commanders is the best bet. At minus three at home against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, yeah, lock in the Commanders at minus three. Damn, I, that was my best bet too. You can go for I, it. You yeah, can. so I, I'm going to go with the Commanders. Aiden Daniels, this man is playing like a top five QB. This is amazing what he's been doing so far. So, I mean, you got to go with Washington. Hmm. All right. And I'm actually going to go with the Cowgirls, or well, you guys call them, but uh, the Cowboys. And the reason being is right now, we don't really know what to make of the Cowboys, right? Are they going to be contenders or are they just going to be a middle of the pack team? Um, I still think Dak hasn't really proven and lived up to his contract as of yet. And I think he needs one of those coming out games against a very good team being the Steelers and come out and kind of silence the critics and the haters. So I think this is going to be not only the Sunday night game in Pittsburgh, it's going to be loud and rowdy, but I do think this is going to be the Cowboys game and specifically Dak. And uh, he's going to silence all the all the critics out there. Interesting. So there you have it for our week five. We're already on week five. Jace, you want to end it off? Yeah, check us out, Laugh Kings on the socials, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, at the Laugh Kings with a Z or a Z. 
Audio Head, Search the Life of Kings, Apple Podcasts, CastBox, Google Podcasts, Amazon. We're everywhere. And also for anything and everything, Laugh Kings, check direct.me slash Laugh Kings. Check out our weekly podcast as well at the Laugh Kings channel. You don't want to miss it. Peace. Week five.